In this video, I'm going to show you how to make a gradient with like a halftone pattern in Adobe Illustrator. So you can make these dots um, be vector. So these, this video is really made for students that I teach who are making a yearbook that has a comic style. So I know some people watch my videos outside of my classroom. So some of the specifics that I mentioned in here as far as document size and stuff like that might not really apply to your project. But since it's mostly for my students, I'm gearing it towards that, but you can still learn something from this. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is make a new document, and we're going to make it inches, and I want you to make it 8.75 by 11.25. So basically that's like a letter size paper with a bleed added into it. And then make sure that the raster effects, we're going to go with high resolution and keep it RGB color. All right, so that's your page setup. Say create. Now we're going to make a rectangle that fills this page with a gradient. So I'm going to get the rectangle tool and I'm going to make this the same size as my page, 8.75 by 11.25. And we are going to move it here on the edge of the page. And we want the stroke to be none. And the fill, we are going to fill it with this white and black gradient swatch that comes default in Illustrator. And we're just going to leave it just like that. All right, now to make the, um, the halftone pattern, I'm going to click off of that and then click back on and go to Effect and go to Pixelate Color Halftone. All right, and then for these numbers here, you're going to put in 20 for the um, pixel radius and put these numbers here all at 45. You can have different numbers there for different effects, but for our project, these are the numbers you need to put in. So 20 and then all these 45 for the channels and say OK. All right, so we have the halftone pattern, but right now if I go to the outline mode or the preview mode in Illustrator, you can see that they're not actually vector yet. This is a bitmap image. So we need to convert it to vector. So you're going to go to Object, Expand Appearance. All right, and now we need to image trace this. Now, normally I would do image trace here, but I want you to use the image trace panel under Window. However, sometimes it does not work unless you do the image trace from the top. So I'm going to see. How that goes. All right, so it's not letting me pick any parameters here. So I am going to go to the top one and just click on it and do a default trace. However, I'm going to undo it because I want to use this. And now it's letting me do that. So I'm going to do Control Z to undo it. And now it's letting me access this. I have no idea why that works that way. Maybe it's just my illustrator, but I want you to be able to do settings in here. So we're going to leave the threshold at 128, but I want you to open up this advanced here and go to 100 for the paths, 100 for the corners, and one pixel for the noise. And this is the most important one right here, ignore white. If you don't ignore white, then all these dots are going to be white dots, and it's just going to be harder for us to work with. I want those dots to be transparent. So it's very important. Click ignore white, and then say trace, and say OK. All right, and then one more step is to go to Object and do Expand. Object, Expand. And you can leave that like this and say OK. Now, when we go to Control-Y, you see that these are actually vector dots. That is what we wanted. So now you can make this any color that you want. So we are going to, you can pick any color you want, but I want you to fill it over here. Don't use one of the swatches there, because otherwise everyone will pick the same color for our yearbook and I want them to be different colors. So I'm going to pick this green color and then the background you're going to make a, another rectangle that fills the whole page. Make sure you go all the way to the edge and you want to make this a little bit different color green. So maybe make it a little more yellow, something like that. And go to object, arrange, send to back. And now, oops, and now you can see you have a gradient halftone. So make sure that you pick colors that are kind of similar, enough that you can see 
the difference between the two colors, but you wouldn't want to do like green and red. That would look a little too obnoxious. And then when you're done with that, go to File. You can save it. So save a copy of it and then do Export As. And we need JPEGs for the yearbook. So you're going to click on JPEG. And this is what you're going to upload with the form. So you can just go halftone and save it as a JPEG. I'm going to replace that one. And make sure this is very important. Resolution needs to be high. Make sure you have that on high. This here, you can make it a little smaller if you want, long as it's not like below six. But this is the most important one. Make your resolution high and say OK. And that's the page that we'll use for making backgrounds to our yearbook. In the next video, I'll show you how to make a radial uh, halftone pattern.